friends and welcome to Raudas Reviews. This time we go all the way to Virginia, United States of America with a black metal band called Dead Shroud. And this is a release called Parhelion. And as you can see, this is a basic jewel case release now broken for some possible, some weird reason. And this one is actually a CDR self-financed album. Don't know really why, because the quality of the album is not that I am kind of guessing these guys could have landed a proper record deal with given time and all that stuff but sometimes things go in weird ways these guys were nice enough to uh, send me a shirt I will actually show it to you as well here it is the lineup so just two guys doing the stuff and this has been recorded between 2022 2023 so uh, quite fresh from the oven still and um, this is something that I could go and consider uh, some kind of old school take of black metal. Now, we're not going as far as to say Era of Bathory and Celtic Frost, but not really that far from that, uh, given that this style is kind of uh, trashy in a way, and definitely not uh, some kind of a modern take of uh, black metal. So these guys are all about going old school ways, which I guess they can, that can be seen with the photo and all that stuff. And I gotta say, I mostly like the stuff they're doing, but now comes the but, or actually a couple of them. Um, this album is not without problems. And the reason is, oh, I promised you to show the shirt because I was actually wearing it already. So this one comes with a couple of problems. And by the way, thanks to the band for sending me this shirt. Looks nice and all. The thing here is, um, this band has quite a lot of interesting ideas. Sometimes it's more about going melodic and kind of a catchy. Sometimes it's about, you know, going to kind of a trashy. And sometimes it's just going with the kind of a traditional 1990s black metal ways. Those are none of the problems here. None of the problems are e even related to vocals. But when it comes to a couple of things called drums and production, that's where the band actually has two legs in a, I don't know, swamp or something. The thing here is, uh, the drums are not done by a real person. I mean, they could fool you for a bit. I mean, they're not really that bad of a drum machine use, but they don't sound that well. And that's where you might kind of be put off a little bit, but that's not the major flaw here. What I really think is, in my opinion, ruining this EP, or sorry, album a little bit, is that the guitar sound, and basically every sound except for the drums, ironically as it is, uh, is something like, I don't know, rubs me the wrong way. It's not so much about like being super raw. Unfortunately, actually, I was hoping it to be kind of a raw. Think about like early Bathory or Celtic Frost, Hellhammer, whatever you have it. Uh, it's not also about being powerful. It's just something like some settings are off. Whether it's about used pedals or, I don't know, amps or preamps, whatever you have it, maybe plugins, who knows. That there is something, some kind of a weakness combined to some kind of a for the lack of better word, rawness. It's like a opposite of pink, you know, when you have a food and you figure out this is crispy. This is like something which is soft. It doesn't really feel like it's, you know, um, done properly. It's like, this is not like medium. This is not, you know, fully cooked either. It's just something weird. And you're like, am I going to die because I'm eating that? That's how I feel about the sound. So it's like, I don't know, give me weird, a little bit of weird feeling like, yeah, it's not kind of irritating, it's not annoying, it's not super bad, it it's just feels wrong. Don't get me wrong, if this kind of a more organic sound was used for, I don't know, some kind of a stoner uh, metal or sludge or whatever, maybe I would be more forgiving. But in this context, it just feels outright wrong. Now, through the course of a few spins, I kind of started to use it, get used to it, but I was still wondering, like, how much better this could be with, you know, stronger uh, production. And by stronger, I would really mean the kind of a guitarist being more thick, uh, more powerful, just packing a punch, basically. And that's why I feel like this is going a little bit off-road. It's like driving to your set and in the off-road ways, and then you're like, okay, our uh, tires are muddy. This wasn't supposed to happen. No shit, it's not Jeep. It's not your SUV. You're supposed to drive into that kind of a place and it just feels like a little bit misplaced. I know this round is kind of a weird, but it actually is bothering me and I rarely bitch about sound too much. 
I give a lot of slack for a lot of bands for whatever kind of a production. I mean, most of the albums out there are either quite okay or they're just outright good. But this is rubbing me the wrong way. So I really can't bitch about so much songwriting, but about the production and, well, the drum machine. But overall, if you can just look through this or just ignore it, whatever, uh, look past it, I guess, would be the proper way to put it. I mean, this is actually pretty listenable. There's some really nice ideas. I, I was on the verge of like going for seven, but then I was thinking maybe I'm too, uh, too uh, ignoring for the production and I m should be more honest about it. So I really can't lie. The production kind of bothers me and I just wish that some of these ideas were redone in a better way. Of course, there are parts with the songwriting as well, where you find a kind of a feel that there's certain kind of a mediocrity with some of the riffs, but mostly it's on the plus side of things. So even if you have some lukewarmish parts, you also have a lot of good stuff and something that goes between not exactly lukewarm, not exactly good, but kind of a decent. So in the end, this is kind of a decent album with just kind of a crappy production in my opinion. So if you can ignore the production or the guitar sound especially, I think this is pretty decent of a stuff to listen to. And uh, while it's not the best in the pile for 2023, I think it's something that you should give it, give it a go. Because like I said, I, I think these guys are up to something. But in my opinion, they would need a label that would say, here is a thousand or couple of thousands dollars, euros, whatever currency you're using, go to the studio, re-record some of your best stuff and put it in a real CD, not some CDR. So in the end, I guess could be said, this kind of gives me a demo-ish feeling because it's a CDR with kind of a crappy production and the songs deserve more. So I feel uh, Parhelion is a demo take of an album, what it could really be. Don't take it personally uh, if I don't like your favorite band or in case you're the artist and I'm like giving a, this kind of a nagging. It's just honestly what I feel about it. And I think this could be just so much better with the given ingredients with just minor fixes here and there. With these takes, I hope you people out there, excluding the band, give a go and listen to these guys. They have something going on and I'm looking forward for their latest music in the future so who knows maybe it will kick my ass and i will be praising that one a lot but we shall see how it goes meanwhile off you go enjoy parhelion and all that bye bye